Hi third graders, this is Mrs. McLeaf from Northern Elementary School and I'm going to introduce informational writing to you today. For the next few weeks we are going to learn about informational writing. Today and tomorrow we're going to analyze the characteristics of strong informational writing and then on Wednesday you're going to begin brainstorming what you want to write about for your own informational writing. Let's begin by learning the definition of informational writing. Informative writing can also be called explanatory or expository writing. Informational writing communicates information to the reader to share knowledge or to convey messages, ideas, or instructions. Informational writing is all around us and I'm sure you've seen different sources of informational writing throughout the school year, probably in reading when you studied nonfiction. Take a look at some informational writing sources. Now let's talk about some of the characteristics that we see in most informational writing. Informational writing has a clear topic. The writer begins with a lead or a hook to capture your attention. The text is organized by headings and subheadings, and each section usually has its own main idea. Main ideas are supported by information, facts, and details about the topic. The author includes vocabulary and definitions and usually has photographs and other text features to bring the topic to life. Finally, the writing concludes with a conclusion. The text in this week's learning plan, Foods Around the World, is a great example of informational writing. Let's check it out together. I'm going to point out some of the characteristics and you can pause my video to look at them and to think about what we're analyzing. The cover shows us that this text is going to give us information about, well, foods around the world. The title usually introduces the topic for us. Let's take a look at the table of contents. Go ahead and read through the table of contents. As you can see, this book is organized with an introduction and different sections which show food from different countries, continents, or regions. Finally, there's a conclusion at the end and then there's two recipes for you to try. So this informational text also includes instructions. Let's take a look at the introduction. Go ahead and pause my video to read through it. What did you notice? I noticed that the author grabbed the reader's attention by asking questions to help them think about the topic. Let's go to the next section. The heading tells us a little bit about what information we're gonna get in this section. Africa, a mix of flavors, foods, and people. Go ahead and pause my video to read this section and be sure to go to page seven as it continues on the next page. As you read this section, I'm sure you learned lots of new information and facts about the flavors, foods, and people in Africa. You probably enjoyed the text features like the map, the photographs, and even the vocabulary word that you can check out the definition in the glossary. Let's skip ahead to the conclusion. The author wraps up this text in a exciting way that hopefully encourages you to try out different foods and maybe even become a world famous cook. You'll see there's also two how-to writings where you can try the different recipes from this text. Hopefully you enjoyed exploring this informational writing with me and check back tomorrow for another example of informational writing that you're gonna get to read and go on your own scavenger hunt. 